Months before the scheduled D-Day invasion in December 1943, the United States' 8th Air Force's bombers were close to being completely defeated against the Luftwaffe, taking disturbing losses on missions out of the range of their fighter escorts. It was an emergency that had to be addressed immediately. Unless they controlled the airspace over Northern Europe, the Allies had a very low chance of a planned landing in Normandy. While this was in progress, the long-awaited American long-range fighter escorts were beginning to land in the bases of southern England. The most anticipated were named the now-famous P-51 Mustang, the game-changer of World War II. The credit for this incredible development was not owed to an aviation engineer or an Air Force general, but an international sportsman and polo star, Tommy Hitchcock Jr. With the United States not part of World War I, Tommy left school and home at the age of 17 to join the Lafayette Escadrille and support the French during the war. At the age of 17, he became the youngest American aviator to shoot down an enemy aircraft during World War I. Born with the love of flying, Tommy flew aggressively until March 1918, where he was shot down and seriously wounded in Germany. He was taken as a prisoner of war and subsequently planned a daring escape. He successfully escaped by leaping from a moving train and walked 100 miles to neighboring and neutral Switzerland. After regaining his freedom, Hitchcock went on to enroll at Harvard and then Oxford University, where his connections grew with Britain's upper-class families. Feeling restless at university, he eventually dropped out to play polo, one of his lifelong talents and passions. This decision led him to becoming one of the most legendary players in the world, leading four teams to championships in the US Open and helped the United States to win five Westchester Cups. He carried a 10-goal handicap, which is the highest rating for a polo player. As such an illustrious and charming person, he became the inspiration for the polo playing character Tom Buchanan in F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby. When the United States entered World War II, Hitchcock's primary goal was to become a fighter pilot for the U.S. Air Force. Being too old for combat duty, he was placed as assistant air attaché to the U.S. Embassy in London. In the spring of 1942, Hitchcock visited an airfield in Duxford, England. He noticed that the British were testing an early version of the P-51 Mustang, an American fighter plane built for the Royal Air Force. He immediately noticed that the Mustangs were faster and had a longer range than the RAF's workhorses like the Spitfires and the Hurricanes. However, its underpowered Allison engine made it difficult to perform at higher altitudes. Impressed by the performance and streamlined airframe of the Mustang, Hitchcock decided to make a brave recommendation to the United States and that the Mustang could be made into a high altitude fighter by replacing the Allison engine with the British Merlin engine produced by Rolls-Royce. Simultaneously, Hitchcock went ahead and tested the modification and transformed the P-51 Mustang into a sensational high altitude aircraft. A small, streamlined beauty that was lighter, faster and more agile than anything the Nazi Germans had. With the support of the Merlin engine, the P-51 Mustang now equipped with extra fuel tanks on its wings, began escorting bombers on long-range missions all the way to Berlin. The results were immediate and devastating for the Luftwaffe. If it wasn't for Hitchcock's persistence, we would have never had the P-51 Mustang as we know it today, allowing the Allied Air Forces to achieve air supremacy in Europe and finally win the war. 